fourth dimensional formula will be again t power minus 2 and the charge dimensional formula will be a t so this is m l t power minus 3 a power minus 1 that is the dimensional formula for electric field intensity the point is here next after finishing of this what is the electric field intensity due to a point charge? What is the formula in this field of the charge? Due to a point charge.
exactly as the midpoint. Net electric field will be equal to zero. For example, if these charges are kept at the three vertices of an equilateral triangle, then at the centroid, net electric field will be equal to zero. Net electric field will be equal to zero at centroid. Next, there is a square point of intersection of diagonal. Here four identical charges. If we keep point of intersection of diagonals, net electric field will be equal to zero. If it is an hexagon, so here exactly at the midpoint. If six charges are placed at the six corners of certain hexagon, net field will be equal to zero at this midpoint. So, like this, in the different different cases, where the net electric field will be equal to zero, like that, positions will be there, and some positions will be there on the neutral points. Neutral points means what means net field intensity is zero. Those points are called as the neutral points. If identical charges are there, then neutral points in between them at the midpoint, point of intersection of triangle, diagonals, like that it will be there. Clear? Now, <coughs> now points. Or these are also called as the neutral points. Clear? How to identify the neutral points? Let us see. So here two different charges are there. Here a charge Q1 is there, and from this charge, at a distance d. Another charge Q2 is there. Q1, Q2 are the two charges separated by a distance d. Clear? In between them, somewhere, if these two are like charges, then a neutral point will be formed in between the two charges. The point is clear. If these two are like charges, neutral point will be formed in between the two charges. Here, in between them, from here. Here, if you place another charge Q, it will repel. This charge will repel this charge because like charges. This one will repel this charge, so it will be like this. So there is a chance of forming neutral point because forces are in the opposite direction. If you take minus Q here. This Q1 will attract this. This Q2 will attract that. So in between them, there is a chance of forming the neutral point. So what do you have to understand? So if these two are like charges, neutral point will be formed in between the two charges. I am assuming X is the distance of neutral point from Q1. Here condition will be that to take Q1 value is less than Q2. Let the neutral point be formed at the point P, which is at a distance x from Q1, like that I am assuming. So at P, what will happen? It will create field here, it will be in this direction. This will create field here, it will be in this direction. These two fields are equal and opposite. So E1 is equal to E2. So 1 by 4 by epsilon naught. Q1 by x squared. 1 by 4 by epsilon naught. Q2 by D minus x whole squared. Then 1 by 4 by epsilon naught will cancel. D minus x whole squared by x squared is equal to Q2 by Q1. Bring this one to this side, this Q1 to this side, then we will get 
then d minus x by x is equal to root q2 by q1. Clear? Then what we will get d by x minus 1 is equal to root, root q2 by q1. Then d by x is equal to 1 plus root q2 by q1. Then x is equal to root. I am writing here. See finally what we will get here is x is equal to d by root q2 by q1 plus 1. This formula we will use to find the neutral point distance from q1. What is the condition where we have to take q1 value is less than q2, that condition we have to consider. Then the distance of the neutral point from q1 will be d by root q2 by q1 plus 1. Next, if these are one charge is unlike charge. So finally, neutral points means what? Neutral points are null points. Let C will be equal to 0 at some points. Those points are called as the neutral or null points. Here what will happen? Here Q1 is there. Here Q2 is there. Let Q1 will be negative. Then in between these two charges, distance between the two charges is B. Clear? Then here, one point is there, it is at a distance x from this. Then here if you keep any charge, one coulomb charge or any charge q, then what between these two, attractive force will be there. Minus q1 and q, they will attract. q2 and q, what they will do? They will repel positive charge, positive charge. They will be parallel. So both forces will be in the same direction. So no neutral point will be formed in between the two charges. That's why we have to consider the point here. Okay, here if you keep charge minus q1 and q what they will do, they will attract. Q2 and Q1 they will do like charges, no? they will repel. These two will attract, those two will repel. Then net force may be equal to 0 here. Here I am assuming at the point P, net field will be equal to 0. Like that I am assuming. Okay? Then what will happen here? Because of this, here what is the field intensity is? That is 1 by 4 by epsilon naught. No need to take the sign. Q1 by x squared. That value how much? 1 by 4 by epsilon naught. Q2 by d plus x whole squared. 1 by 4 by epsilon naught will cancel. d plus x whole square by x square is equal to q2 by q1. Then d plus x by x is equal to root q2 by q1. If we divide this, d by x plus 1 is equal to root q2 by q1 d by x is equal to root q2 by q1 minus 1. Then finally x is equal to how much we will get here is x is equal to d by root q2 by q1 minus 1. We will use this formula. If the charges are Unlike charges. What is x here? 
distance of the point, the neutral point from Q1. Always we have to consider Q1 magnitude is less than Q2 like that we have to consider. This is the formula for problems relating to the electric field intensity. By combining these two, we will write one single formula for the neutral points. X is equal to D by root Q2 by Q1 plus R minus 1 plus we will use for light charges minus we will use for unlight charges plus we will use for light charges minus we will use for unlight charges this is the formula to find the distance of the neutral point from Q1. What is the condition to be satisfied? Q1 value will be less than Q2. Okay. Next fourth one will be electric dipole. We will discuss about that. Yes, Here minus q is there here plus q is there two equal and opposite charges are separated by some distance then that arrangement will be called as the electric dipole so i am assuming generally we will take the distance between the two charges as 2a because from the center we have to consider it as a it has to we have to consider it as 2a so two charges are separated by some distance equal and opposite charges that will be called as the dipole if you consider length of the dipole length of the dipole is a vector quantity why it is a vector quantity means always we have to measure the distance from minus q to plus q from minus q to plus q we have to measure the distance so that's why dipole moment this length of the dipole will be a vector quantity dipole moment means p is equal to p bar is equal to q into 2a dipole moment is indicated by the letter p its formula will be the product of magnitude of charge in the dipole and the distance between the two charges is called dipole moment here charge is a scalar quantity but length of the dipole is a vector quantity that's why dipole moment is a vector quantity its si unit will be coulomb meter for this coulomb for this meter and if we write the dimensional formula charge will be at and distance will be l so atl will be the dimensional formula next if we consider the dipole what is the electric field intensity on the axis of the dipole on the equatorial line of the dipole like that problems will be there already you know about the derivation here a charge minus q is there here a charge plus q is there these two are separated by a distance 2a the line joining the two charges the line which is joining the two charges that will be called as the axis of the dipole this will be called axis of the dipole this line will be called axial line so I am considering a particular point on the axial line from the center of the dipole it is at a distance r from it then E axial is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught 2 p r by r square minus a square whole square this is the formula electric field intensity on the axial line of the dipole is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught 2 p r by r square minus l square whole square this is the formula we have to use next 
if the dipole is a short dipole what is meant by short dipole comparing to this distance r a value is very small then we will call it as short dipole this a will be neglected r power 4 r will be r cube this formula will becomes as 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught 2 p by r cube this formula we have to use for finding the electric field intensity for short dipole if we consider the point on the equatorial line so this is the equatorial line on the equatorial line if we consider a point p at a distance r what is the field intensity means e equatorial is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught p by r square plus a square whole power 3 by 2 this formula we have to use 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught p by r square plus a square whole power 3 by 2 this formula we have to use then if the dipole is short dipole we can neglect a square this value will be p by r cube e equi is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught p by r cube we will get on the axial line and on the equatorial line if we divide e axial by e equatorial is equal to 2 so on the axial line intensity will be twice comparing to the equatorial line for the same distance okay